All right, so we are moving quite along. We are actually going to be building today, building a website, getting a domain. So my goal with when I was getting into real estate was buy one rental property, uh, make it have it make one thousand dollars a month, and then after ten properties, I would have one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year to replace my fitness business, and I wouldn't have to do fitness anymore. And that was the goal, and I, I did achieve that. We bought one point uh, one point eight million dollars in real estate. And that was pretty nice. And so we did this with cars. We bought eight rental cars. We rented them out for about $1,200 a month. And now I have, what was this? 212 trips completed. We have over 181 reviews. And it's just, you know, quite a bit of cash flow from cars. We'll be making 10 little websites that will make us money that we can, you know, offload or we can uses cash flow or we can you know all sorts of different things so i'm excited to share this with you guys so i like i said i'm going to be creating a brand new website because i have one right now and i'm going to be making two three ten twenty i'm going to be definitely reporting it in to our uh, community so definitely join our discord the links will be in the description share this with you guys so let's get into it starting from the very first buying our domain and setting everything up I have a few different sites here from Namecheap. The probably easiest one is just do your name. Uh, you can put Amazon products at the bottom, like for mine, if I go to uh, brandonduff.com, these are just some of the Amazon products that I've done with one click blogging. Um, we do get some contracts and companies that come to us. And so I put their, uh, their uh, blogs down below. But if you're just starting out and you're brand new, don't overthink this. Literally just go and buy your name. It's probably the easiest for branding, for everything that you need. Uh, when you're doing two or three or four sites later on, we'll think of other things. But for now, since you're just starting out, just do your name. It'll make it very, very simple. Once you buy your domain, you should see it here on Namecheap. I just go to manage and then go to advanced DNS. And now we're going to get our hosting and WordPress set up in less than five minutes. So let's do that now. I'm going to be using Cloudways because it is a very inexpensive uh, alternative. And you can use whatever you want. But for this training, I'm just going to set up Cloudways. There's a million different options, but this Cloudways is inexpensive. So let's get into it. So this is what I'm going to be doing is spinning up a server and walking you through step by step on how to set up your WordPress site. So I have my site here. I just called it WordPress server server digital oceans. Obviously, you can choose whatever one you want location, wherever is closest to you, depending on what you know, what that is for you. I'm going to put New York, click on launch now and it is spinning up. So it says your high speed application will be ready in approximately seven minutes. So I will be spinning this up and I will get back in seven minutes. So I love that they have a trial countdown right when you spin up a server. As you can see, I have two days. So this is a great time to get things started. So you can build out your site without even pain. You can actually get content up right now. All right, so we have our servers here. We're gonna to go to application. We have our WordPress site here and here we go. So if we click on this, you can see that our website is live it doesn't it's not connected to any domain names or anything like that but we'll be setting that up here in a moment but uh here it is just log into our admin panel using our information that we have here just paste this here paste this here and this is your typical wordpress site it has your pages your uh, posts media comments appearance for themes plugins um, all sorts of stuff so now we need to connect our domain to Cloudways so that we have a uh, actual functioning domain name. So if we go to application, go to the WordPress application, and we're going to actually connect our domain and start really e editing some things. So let's get into it. We're going to go down to our uh, domain list. So domain management, as you can see, this is our current site. And it's set to primary and all you're going to do is add your domain that you purchased earlier uh, if and obviously if you've been following along and going step by step then you should be ready to enter your domain and actually see it come to live because how cool is it to have a site 
live, ready to start making you money, uh, you know, at any given time versus, you know, hoping that it, it, you'll get there someday. Because if you don't start today, you know, you won't ever start. So we have our domain here, Roofing Supply Co. Uh, whatever your, you know, domain is, that's what you're gonna put here. Don't put www or anything like that. All you're gonna do is just put the primary domain with no spaces. And we'll see it come here and see some population changes and then we'll make it primary. And then we'll need to add the SSL. So we have our domain here and now we need to make it a primary. So as you can see, just setting it as primary. And now we'll actually have to add some things into our DNS. So this sometimes a little tip, I like to refresh this because it just sometimes lags and that's annoying. So this is easy, you will be surprised how easy it is. So all you have to do is go to your uh, website and look for your IP address. It's a set of numbers right here, this location, boom. We're gonna copy this and actually put it as our DNS. So we go here. This is, I use Namecheap. You might have used something else. If you've been following along, you probably have Namecheap. All you're gonna go to is your domain list. Go to the domain that you bought and then head over to advanced DNS. And from the advanced DNS, we're gonna change the A record to the whatever IP that you have. So I just copied the one that I have from Cloudways and pasted it in here. So we're gonna run into some errors, but if you did this correctly, you should see something like this. Your connection is not private, and then it shows our domain, roofingsupplyco.com, and then we can proceed. Um, we'll, we'll fix this in a second, but I wanted to show you that we are indeed live to our site that we made. So we're going to update all this, but let's go ahead and fix that error because we don't want errors on our site. Those look bad. So now we're gonna go back to where we were at the domain management, but we're gonna go down 212 to the SSL certification. And so we're just gonna keep it, let's encrypt. We're going to add any domain. So my normal domain, or I guess email, and then the domain name that you have. So we're not gonna put any www. All we're gonna do is keep it simple, roofingsupplyco.com and we're going to install certification. So while this is installing, uh, you just gotta wait, and then we'll come back and show you what that looks like with no errors. Boom, and it's done. If you're still getting errors, like I'm still getting a forbidden error, it's probably because one, cache, uh, your cache is caching your site. So you just open up a new window, or just reset your cache, or just uh, wait an hour. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Like I'm just gonna delete my cookies and then I'm gonna delete any data on this. And sometimes that doesn't even work. So I go, go in incognito mode and see what it looks like. So as you can see, no errors, just straight to the page. And now we begin our site building. So that's exciting. And then if we go back to our main uh, access dashboard, you can see here that our admin panel is now roofing supply co and then wp.admin uh, and we're just ready to go so like i said we are already set up everything's done and, and now we're ready to start launching and creating a beautiful site that earns us money while we sleep